Alright, just like I promised, I'm going to go ahead and post a video on how to create watermarks for your images that you post on the internet. So, and this time I hope to do it without failing miserably like I did tonight while explaining it. So, um, first step you want to do, open up an image and you want to go ahead and start an action as if this is the first time that you've done this. Um, so, I've already created a new set for watermark. If you don't know how to do that, it's right here at the bottom of the actions palette, create new set. If you can't find the actions palette, that is found under window actions, and then you'll see it there. Usually next to history, I believe is where it defaults. So I have that, I have my new set, now I want to create an action within that. So I'm going to call this engagement vertical. And that way, all my engagement images that are verticals will get this set uh, this action automated to them to create this watermark. So record and first thing you want to do is go to your background layer and it is control alt on a PC command option on a Mac. Hold those two buttons down and double click and that will change your background layer to a layer zero which you will see there. Look like that and when you double click it goes to that. So it's the first step. Then you want to go to Edit, Stroke. Now this is going to be um, experimentation. And if you haven't already experimented with this, you're going to want to stop creating your action. Go ahead and mess around with the uh, watermark first and find out what you like. And then just kind of remember it or write down some notes of what you did and the settings that you use because then you can uh, create the action and use a lot less steps. For every extra step that you add in the action, it's a little bit more time that it takes for it to run the action. So I know that I use a 50 pixel white stroke. So and it's already set for me, 50 pixel color white, and I want it to be centered. So hit OK, and you will see your white border, which is another word for stroke, appear around the image. All right, perfect, exactly what I wanted. Now I want to add some text to this. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my text layer, grab my text layer, which is either the letter T to grab it or you can just click on it here T alright drag out some text and you can you can put anything down you can put photo by you can put copyright you can do anything you want I simply just want to put my name go ahead and drag it into place and you can fine tune it with your keyboard for each arrow is a one pixel move if you hold down shift it is a 10 pixel move as you're going through the arrow. Okay, so now I've done that. I know I want to lower the opacity of my uh, of my text. I don't want it to be that bright. So make sure your move tool is still selected and make sure your text layer is selected. You can either grab the scrub here and I'll zoom in next to opacity and you can go down that way or you can use your keyboard which is what I like to do and you can use the single digits. So 9 stands for 90, 8, 70, I'm sorry, 8 is 80, 7 is 70, and so on. So I'm going to go for, I like 4, which would be 40% opacity. And uh, you can see that on my image there. So it's it's there. I, I want people, if they're looking for it, for them to be able to find it. But it is very subtle and it's not just glaring out at them when they're looking at the image. So there's that. Now what I can do is... I'm going to flatten the layer because part of my action, I want this to actually embed that text into my image. So you can either go to Layer, Flatten Image, which is what I'm going to do. There's also a, if you click next to your Layers palette here, you also see it's grayed out right now, but if it was still available, there's a flat image there. Whatever's faster for you, or of course, there's keyboard shortcut. So now you can see in my action that it um, added all those steps and at the end it flattened the image is what I want. Now I added a lot of extra steps which is going against what I what I mentioned not to do but just for the sake of showing you uh, I did move things around I did try things so um, I did record all that and to find out that it worked I'm going to go back to my history palette click at the top there select my image that way it goes reverts it back to the very beginning back to my actions palette, click on your action and then you can click play.
and there you are. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to add a graphic or a logo to your image as a watermark, which is very popular. Now that you know the basics of creating a watermark, this is, should be pretty simple. All right, you have an image open, and this is your first time creating this uh, particular watermark. So I'm going to create a new action and call it logo watermark vertical. There we go. Record. Okay. Open your graphic. Make sure it's somewhere that it's going to stay. Let's see here. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can shrink that so you can see it. There you go. All right. It is on a transparent layer. Now, I'm going to go up to edit. I'm sorry. I'm going to go up to select all edit copy and then I'm gonna close that I don't need that anymore I've copied that and click on my image again and edit paste okay now it recognizes that it added the graphic now the next step I want to do is go ahead and increase this canvas size on the image so edit image excuse me image canvas size uh, I'm gonna do a lot less on the I'm going to do the same on the width, excuse me, and add some on the height. And I'm not going to choose. There we go. Okay. Now that did what I wanted around the side. Now I want to add just a little bit more to the bottom. So I'm going to click that arrow there. And I'm going to add another inch. Now this is a little extreme here, but to get the point across. There we go. All right. Now that's recorded into it both canvas sizes, which is fine. That's what I want. Um, next thing you want to do is select your um, layer one, which is basically your logo, and you can go ahead and you can go ahead and move that into place. Now you can actually drag in this situation. There we go. And if you hold down Shift, it actually will stay constrained to the center. So I'm going to just kind of fit that in there. Let the V of the visionary just go all all over the place doesn't look too bad uh, this is not as subtle as the watermark I showed you before so obviously you can adjust to your liking um, but this is just something that uh, just to show you what you can do with it so use your imagination and come up with what suits you best alright so I've dragged that where I wanted now I want to flatten the image click this on next to layers palette go down flatten image alright there we go stop and let's check it. So go to your history, revert back, go to your actions palette, and click on logo watermark vertical and play. And there you are. Perfect. Did exactly what I wanted the first time. That's excellent. All right. Thank you very much. And um, if you have any requests for next month's um, digital workshop, please email me at chris at c-m-o-g-r-a-p-h-y dot com. That's chris at c-m-o-g-r-a-p-h-y dot com. Or, of course, webmaster at focusphotoclub dot com, um, which will just be forwarded to that. And, and let me know if you have any requests on um, next month's tutorial or any tutorials coming up. So be great to talk to you guys. Thank you very much.